Mine worked great on the first try. Some reviewers wrote that they had trouble with them skidding away. Maybe they was on grass. I did know ya. TM. T try it on grass but on asphalt they worked on the first try. I would suggest placing them firmly against the front tires and using a chalk block at the rear once you are up on them. I got the deck up high enough to change blades. These ramps are mostly made to put in grass where the traction teeth work best. If you want to work on your mower in the garage, you will have to put either a wide enough rug, carpet, or cloth tarp like I did. The wheels pulled the tarp which kept the ramps from sliding forward. I left the mower on the ramps for 24 hours to see if any buckling would happen and there was none. I easy changed out my blades and got off of the ramps. They worked great for me and would highly recommend them for others to buy and use. Just make sure you have some to keep them from sliding forward in the garage. These ramps are mostly made to put in grass where the traction teeth work best. If you want to work on your mower in the garage, you will have to put either a wide enough rug, carpet, or cloth tarp like I did. The wheels pulled the tarp which kept the ramps from sliding forward. I left the mower on the ramps for 24 hours to see if any buckling would happen and there was none. I easy changed out my blades and got off of the ramps they worked great for me and would highly recommend them for others to buy and use just make sure you have some to keep them from sliding forward in the garage. I purchased the Floatal Lee's Airlift Rider ramps so I could change my lawn mower blades. The ramps are durable and easy to drive the mower up on and also easy to drive off. I highly recommend Floatoli Z lift rider ramps. Exactly what I wanted. Seem to work well on concrete, at least out of the box. So long as you wedge them tight up under the wheels before you attempt to drive up on them. Well made.